Welcome back. Well, this month during Mental Health Awareness Month, WLOX is focusing on mental health issues throughout the month, and the station is starting conversations in our community about mental health. Joining us today, Melody Warsham from the Mental Health Association of South Mississippi. Melody, thank you so much for joining us. Good to have you on the show. Oh, it's glad to be here, absolutely. Yeah, um, first of all, this is such an important topic and I'm so glad that we're focusing again on that for the month of May. Um, what are some of the issues you're seeing in particular that are, are just continuing to be a problem for people? Well, mental health is like physical health. Everybody needs it. <laughs> and um, and I have a feeling that sometimes people focus on, oh, if I don't have like a major mental health crisis, I, I should just kind of, you know, grit through it or whatever like that. But everybody needs to look at any kind of distress that they have in their lives, emotional ups and downs, as a time to go ahead and take care of yourself right then and there to prevent something from happening that could be even worse. That's true. And do you find that the, the stigma that has always been associated with mental health it's certainly better now but is it still a problem it's still a problem one in four people have some kind of mental health condition but 100 percent of people have had some kind of mental health distress anxiety uh, you know, uh, uh, things that upset them that have caused some problems for them. And so we've got to get rid of that stigma. And the more you talk about it, like you would talk about a heart problem or a headache, let's talk about our mental health the same way. And that stigma has gone down and it has gotten better, but we've still got work to do. And a lot of, um, for people who, who work and have um, health insurance, uh, a lot of mental health is more and more, uh, is included more than it used to be, which is a good thing. Uh, for people who feel like they can't afford it, what are their options? Oh my goodness, actually there's a lot of other options out there. Uh, there is a growing uh, profession called peer support and a lot of those services are free or they're actually affordable. Um, there's a lot of other free resources out there, which that's something that we're seeing as a trend over the past several years. And that's good for all of us because then we don't have to go to those expensive things. No, we can take care of ourselves in preventive and wellness care and it's a lot more affordable. So those things are getting better in the area. We've even got a few programs ourselves at MHA that can help people. Yeah, and that you could certainly direct people in the right way if they were to reach out. Absolutely, that's like one of the main things we do is help people get connected to the kind of help that they're looking for. There's no one size fits all and so we need to explore that and find out what is going to be the right fit for you. All right and uh, the most worrisome symptoms that people should be aware of that need help right away? Right, um, loss of sleep, uh, loss of enjoyment in the things that you normally enjoy, that suddenly you're not having the relationships you normally have. Those kind of things could be a sign that you could be under stress and it's time for you to go and check yourself out and see what we can do to help. It's important certainly to take care of um, your mental health and we have a mental health awareness hotline. It's actually um, a way for you to reach out and um, let people know what your concerns are and we'll try to get you in touch with the uh, right people. And thank you so much for joining us today, Melody. Yes, thank you. Y'all have a great month. Thank you.